So a box this size is usually what we will put in one tire. So what I usually do is I'll cut it in half. So in this case, this is only going to cover one length. So what I would, would do is fold it in, force it. So the idea is, uh, as this, you can see on this side, the, the cardboard is folded up along, around the, onto the sidewall. We kind of want to get that going on all sides to prevent any uh, blowing out of any dirt. So once you got enough cardboard in there, you're confident that it won't blow out. You just start throwing dirt in it. Simple as that. I don't know if you just wanted to use the bucket for this. So to start the, the tire, what we usually do is we'll just pull the dirt into the sidewalls with the, our hands. And it always goes way faster when you got somebody helping shovel. So then from here, it's just a matter of pounding into the sidewalls. Again, I'm starting in the middle and pushing out towards the sidewalls. There's a couple different pounds that I use. The idea is you're down low, get yourself bent over low, hold the tire or the, the, the hammer, and then you're swinging with your abs. Your, your abs are what's making the movement. So you just do this to get the initial compaction going. So the next, the main swing that I use, I don't even know what to call it. So the idea is from standing, I'm gonna pull the hammer up, grab at the hammer head, turn, lift, match my hands, and then let the weight of the hammer come down and do the work. And the other swing is instead of swinging in like this, I'll swing in sideways to get more square footage of the hammer hitting the dirt to push it in. It takes a little bit of a swing to get it going, but you put a lot more dirt into the sidewalls faster. And then once I get to a point where the tire is getting kind of full, I personally generally switch back to the standard swing. Well, my standard swing at least. You don't need a gym membership when you're building an airship. Do it right and you'll get yourself into shape in no time. A lot of people will pound and they'll just do this. They're just like they're going straight down. That doesn't give you anything. That compresses the earth straight down. You need to get a sideways inward motion to get the, the earth into the sidewall. So for us, the way we're swinging these hammers, generally we can have a feel for when the tire is getting full for how much resistance the earth in the tire is putting up to the hammer. So with each swing, I can tell that this spot is getting pretty condensed and can wait a little bit longer until I've got all the spots just like it. That's already there. Sweet. It's actually quite level. So before I actually go and start leveling it, I need to make sure the batter is correct. So from this string line, which is the very first course of tires, we use this string line to set it lay out the first course of tires. I'm going to put the tape measure on the front of the tire. Every course you want to go an inch and a half back. So I am a quarter inch too far south. So closer to me than I need to be. So I got to go that way. And I'm level. That's level. The middle is absolutely level. To itself, it is level. So when it gets to this point, we'll throw one more load of dirt onto it. And then we'll take the level and scrape across and move the dirt, try and get all the, the loose dirt into all the little spots. And that's a tire. Tire pounding style. <laughs>